it's dogmatic DIY here um, this will be my first official video there with my new format if you watch my previous video where I rant about improving the channel so um, what we're gonna do this is going to be five projects so five projects that you can make with just some scrap wood so most of it's going to be fence boards right but if you got some pine lying around I'm gonna do five projects that you can do with it just being a hobbyist like myself and just using some scrap wood so let's get started all right so first project is animal wall art so I won't I won't go and kind of break it down to each an individual one so I have a bear I did that I did the deer ones now the deer ones are the smaller ones so I did three of them so I did this one here is just the deer head silhouette then I have the deer heart with the black background and then just before Valentine's Day I did a deer heart with a red background and that was one of the first projects I did with uh, the squirrel saw so I noticed uh, the other ones I just did with a jigsaw so you can if you don't have a squirrel saw you, you know don't be discouraged that you can't do these projects because everything else I did with a jigsaw so you just want a, a thinner blade with a jigsaw right um, try to get as thin as you can with your jigsaw so you can make kind of those little tight cur curves and stuff like that so instead of doing those individually I wanted to group them all in one just kind of animal wood wall uh, art okay so next one is another wall art one but it's a, a large one and it's this one here that uh, my wife wanted for the dining room so it's a gather sign, right? So uh, I just call it a gather sign, but it's 24 inch by 36. And all I did, it's again, just fence boards there. And I cut them in different widths and different lengths. So, you know, I have some like our fence boards are about five and a quarter inches. So some of them I left the full width. Some of them I cut them down to about two inches. So I'm going to cut them down to about three inches wide. Then the lengths I go from leaving it the whole 36 inch or some of them I go 18 inch. Some I do 12 inch, some I do 24 inch. As you can see, I'll try to blow up the picture here so you can kind of see where each one's divided. And what you do is you can pick and choose, make it like a puzzle. So get it to fit in your frame first. So. I actually used a full 24 by 36 inch piece of quarter inch plywood because all those pieces need a place to stick to, I guess, you know, or be nailed to just uh, so they don't just fall off the boards, right? You just take, uh, once you got your puzzle together of how you want it to look with the different lengths and widths uh, uh, all fitting into your section, um, don't nail them into the quarter inch. Now I nailed the border uh, to the quarter inch right first, so I had the border, so it's easy for me to put the pieces in and out. Uh, and then if you want, so you don't lose track of what goes where, take some painter's tape or whatever and write on it. So if this piece I want white, and this piece I want red, and this piece I want black, and this piece I want walnut, and this piece I want oak, right? Do that first. Now, I would definitely recommend doing that first as I put them together first and then to paint each little piece of wood differently, you have to kind of tape off, right? And and that got can definitely be time consuming. So you, won't, you don't want to nail it down to the quarter inch first. Put it on, uh, mark it out the colors you want, and then pull it back. Stain them, paint them, do whatever and then put them back on and then you can glue them and nail them to your quarter inch plywood. Next one uh, is I recently released is this wood wall clock or farmhouse wall clock. Very simple to do again. And you know, uh, I'll 
post the video here, uh, link to the video. All I did is you know, five pieces of fence board cut at 24 inches long. So it was almost 24 by 24. The wall clock's 24. You cut a hole in the middle. Then, you know, you, you figure out a way, like I used a bolt and then, uh, a string and drew the circle. And then I cut it out with a jigsaw and leaving at least an eighth of an inch away from the, the line I drew. So, and then sanded it down. You know, we use some uh, heavy grit sandpaper to sand it down to the line. So I didn't accidentally, you know, you don't accidentally get in there with a the jigsaw and you get inside that line and then now your circle's kind of messed up. You have to go and make a smaller circle, right? So I did that. Um, get the clock me mechanisms. I bought uh, the clock mechanisms on Amazon. It came with a four pack and you got different arms and, and, and that. So I found one I liked. Uh, the next one is uh, my shelves. Here's a picture of the finished product. I got two shelves in the dining room, one on each side of the window, and super simple, just pieces of pine, right? So I, you know, I did two different sizes, and you can check out the video in this link here. There's two different sizes of wood. You know, I ordered the little brackets on Amazon. So, you know, that's another thing. It's super easy to do. You make your own. Uh, I wanted to stagger it so the pieces weren't completely in a square or rectangle. Okay, so number five is what I did before Christmas. So those little Christmas tree candle holders you'll see here um, that I made. Now I, I'll show you here. I'll post a couple different colors so you can see all the different varieties I did because uh, I started making a couple of them and some family friends liked them so you know I got a couple blue ones uh, for a family friend she decorates her house uh, with some blue accents for Christmas right so and then we have some uh, people that liked uh, the black wood grain so and I'm doing a couple for them uh, the other ones liked uh, the walnut the special walnut stain so we did a couple for them so i didn't I didn't even really get to sell too many of them because uh, outside of of the the family circle right with the friends and family stuff so but super simple uh just click this link if you want to see how it made um now obviously you can't say it's all scrap wood but if you only need a couple for yourself if you got a couple pieces of pine uh lying around you know Three quarter inch pine you know it's uh easy to make you know just watch my video it's the first time i've ever made them and it was super simple you know super simple you cut them in pieces and then you glue them together and you just screw in the back where the candle uh is sits right and now you can go to your dollar store or uh, whatever your dollar store is called around here like uh, and we have dollarama and you know you know, all kinds of different types of dollar stores. They sell decorative candle holders. Uh, so in these pictures, you'll see some of the ones I have that they have little deer in the snow and that. So when you actually light it up, the little dots are like snow. So it looks like it's snowing when they're flickering. Now you don't even have to have a real candle in there. You can have those battery operated flicker candles in there if you want as well. If you just uh, want to be a safe, if you have small children, and you're worried about them touching it, right? works great and you know, super simple to build and sand it down stain it paint it whatever colors you want to match your decor around your house so here's the those are the five things that uh, I've built so far you know using just scrap wood you know um, I had some of this stuff around right some of these uh, the shelves I made I used from some of the pine I had left over for making some of these Christmas trees because the Christmas trees uh, I did before, right? So um, you could probably even use, oh, I wouldn't say probably, you can. You can use the old fence boards if you want for these Christmas trees. You know, it's not uh, difficult to do. It's, you know, following the video, you can use whatever you want and put it together and make the trees like that, right? So 
um, don't be discouraged on it. This stuff isn't isn't difficult. You know, I'm just a hobbyist. I'm not a professional woodworker at all, right? So, um, and you'll notice the more you do stuff, um, the easier it becomes, right? You don't need expensive tools. My table saw is not a big expensive table saw. My chop saw is not a big expensive chop saw. You know, and then eventually over time, I slowly grabbed uh, more tools. So I mean, like. I recently bought the scroll saw. You don't need the scroll saw. If you look at all the videos I, uh, I posted in here, all the woodworking stuff, um, the only one I even used a scroll saw was the Valentine's uh, Day uh, deer with the heart and the red background. And that was the only one I even used the scroll saw for a little bit on. And But every other project you can use a jigsaw. So if, you know, if you want to see me do something uh, with some scrap wood, leave it in the comment section below. Um, I'll try to answer all the comments I can. Uh, you know, I appreciate everyone watching the channel. You know, like a lot, of, a lot of these other guys, they make super easy things. I wouldn't say super easy, but they make easy things to make, right? Uh, Matthew Peach, his his show, uh, like he does some crazy intricate things, but also he does uh, little videos of making those snowflakes. That's super cool, right? And and it's super easy. You know, he makes the planters. I posted um, a video a while back on making a planter. That's a couple fence boards, right? Uh, super easy. Uh, if you look at my deck chairs, literally two fence boards and three two by fours. And, you know, and, your, and obviously your screws. But that's it, right? Uh, you know, it's all about uh, saving money like here for a deck chair in Adirondack, Muskoka, whatever you want to call, you know, it's over a hundred dollars. You know, I just made it with two fence boards and three two by fours, right? So you can do it. You know, it's, you know, even if you're just a hobbyist or not even a hobbyist, if you don't even deal with woodworking, you can make those chairs. You know, if you want to go check out my Etsy shop, I even had the plans super cheap, you know, for you, it gives you step by step. I give you break it down step by step on each what you need. I even have a cut list so you know exactly what to cut each board and, and how to put them together to make your own chairs. And then what I did is I just I had some leftover cushions, the 24 by 20, 24 inch by 24 inch cushions I had from my old patio set. Fit on there perfect, right? So now you got your own patio set, right? And super easy so you can do it right you can do anything that I do in my videos you can do in your in, in your own little garage right I don't use super expensive tools I don't have a planer right and you know, and all that other stuff too so super simple small garage uh, not exp you know expensive amount of tools so you can do it so you know just hit my little uh, logo there in the bottom to subscribe you know definitely comment let me know what you want me to do videos on uh, hit that bell to be notified when I post another video you know so we're gonna talk to you later